This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Draman and today we're going to be doing a performance review on the Drive 4 from Under Armour. These retail for $115, they feature Micro G in the heel, but they also take away clutch fit. So is it worth it? Let's find out. I own Benji's cause I like the face, up in Canada it's not the same, recording me you need some yellow tape. Kill the beef, then we get some steak. Full for that, I even lick the plate. Full for that, they even lick the base. Paper chasing's not about a race. Sketchy lines, they go and get a race. Not too many people get to see the stuff. I'm a cop and Mickey, I don't need a cuff. You don't get the message, I don't send a message. I don't need a question why you went and said it. Last line talking, I hope you get it. This be all I need, I'm not offended with it. Starting off with the traction, Under Armour doesn't mess around here. They use what has been proven to work for years now, and that is full length herringbone. Not only is the pattern used from heel to toe, but the tread is big and deep, meaning it'll last longer and just won't get caught in between the grooves as easily as a tighter pattern would. So if you're looking to use these for outdoor use or on an extremely dusty floor, you should be covered no problem. The rubber compound could have been a little bit tackier, but that didn't really stop these from working on pretty much any court I came across. I did have to wipe every now and then, but once I did that, I was pretty much good to go. And other than that, the traction on the Drive 4 was pretty much perfect. Next up is the cushion, and Under Armour could have and should have used full length Micro G, but instead they only use it in the heel here, and that's kind of a bummer. The forefoot feels like just straight EVA, and it can feel dead at times, but the silver lining here is it's a really responsive low to the ground ride. So those guards who are really quick and don't really get up in air, are really gonna enjoy how fast the forefoot feels, but the more explosive players are gonna wish it was a lot more impact protection and bounce. Kind of like the Micro G section in the heel. I have no idea why they didn't just put Micro G full length. It seems like a no brainer to me, but the good news is that I never really felt sore at the end of my run. So while the cushion could have been a lot better, what we do get isn't really bad at all. Moving along to the materials, Under Armour decided to replace their clutch fit technology with what they're calling a lightweight and breathable textile upper. It's basically a woven mesh material that doesn't really stretch, but at the same time, isn't very stiff or uncomfortable. It's kind of just there. The downside is that the materials don't really conform around your foot for a snug one-to-one -one fit. There's quite a bit of dead space in the toe box area, but overall, the materials are more comfortable than something like a Fuse and are about what you should expect from a shoe at this price point. What I do like about the materials are these neoprene-like padded areas, which you could find in the medial forefoot and collar area. These sections of the Drive 4 are very comfortable, but as an experience overall, the materials on the Drive 4 are average at best, and they kind of make me miss clutch fit. Next up is the fit, and if you're a wide footer, you should seriously consider putting these on your radar because these right here, they're very wide footer friendly. The forefoot to me had a ton of dead space. I did go through the size and overall the fit was okay. It was just that front, I couldn't get the materials to wrap around my foot the way it should. The midfoot, however, was pretty snug just as long as I tied the laces up nice and tight. The back end of the shoe near the heel area was a little loose as well. Not as bad as the forefoot, but definitely not a lockdown fit. There was also some stabbing in this area on really hard cuts and drives. When I would drive and cut really hard, this heel cup would actually go underneath my ankle and kind of pinch against my foot. And this was very uncomfortable. And one night in particular, there was nothing I could do about it. It just kept happening over and over again. But after that one night, the problem didn't really come back. So I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe I broke them in, maybe I got used to it, but the problem did eventually go away. Just keep in mind, if you're a side-to-side -side mover who does a lot of V-cuts, you may also experience this issue. If you have an extremely narrow foot, going down half a size might be a possibility, but 
overall going true to size is going to be your best bet. Last but not least is the support and despite the loose fit, the Drive 4 does a pretty solid job at keeping you up on your feet. That wide base coupled with the very low to the ground cushion setup makes for a very responsive and stable ride that again is going to favor quick guards or anyone who doesn't really get up off the ground. And depending on how they fit your foot, you're going to get a different experience. Like if you could fit in a lot of that dead space that these have, the support system will be above average. If you can't fill in that dead space, you have a narrow foot, internal slippage may be an issue. So I highly recommend that you try these on in store before going through with the purchase. So to wrap things up, in my opinion, the Drive 4 takes a huge leap forward in visual appeal, but it kind of treads water with its performance. I really did enjoy the traction. It's going to be pretty awesome for outdoor use. And ironically, I actually like the wide fit. The cushioning did leave something left to be desired, but when I look back at it, it wasn't half bad. I mean, it was very fast, very responsive, very stable. It just didn't provide a lot of impact protection. So overall, if you're someone who plays low to the ground, prefers a stable ride and has a wide foot, these are gonna be pretty much perfect for you. I just wish the cushion was a little bit bouncier. So there you guys have it. That pretty much takes care of the performance review for the Under Armour Drive 4. If you're interested in picking up a pair, you can head over to the links you see in the description box below. And you can also read the full written review over at weartesters.com. I'll put that link down below as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to this channel for more performance reviews just like this. My name is Jaron. It's been great having you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I know it's a small preview. It only shows the collar area, but so far, everything that I'm seeing is really cool. The Air Jordan 2 is kind of one of those Jordan models that have kind of been forgotten. A lot of people right now are saying that the Jordan 2 is really underrated, but let's be honest, they're just saying that because they know